Greetings. I hope this message finds you well, wherever you might be listening to from. Um, and today's uh, topic will be the Elder from John Wick 3. Uh, I recently watched John Wick 3. I'm a big fan of Keanu Reeves and the whole series. And they, they did an amazing job. And I look forward to the uh, fourth installment coming in uh, 2020. So, uh, what, what got my interest from the movie was the Elder. Now, the Elder is described as a, like a mystic who sits above the high table, whose authority goes above the high table. But, as you see, he's just a, just a man in the desert with his followers, and they're, they're nomads that, that are just traveling across the desert. So the Elder is inspired from the original founder of the Assassins, which is uh, Hassan i Sabah, or Has Hassan ibn Sabah, which is from uh, uh, northern Iran from the, those days, in the uh, fortress called Alamut, where the Ismaili Shias built their community, which is uh, today led by Aga Khan as a philanthropic religious organization. So. He, he built up this following where he created these followers through religious experiences by uh, claiming uh, God was on his side and uh, other anomalies that took place. And uh, what, what he did was able to remove all the influ foreign influence from his homeland and he was able to accomplish that. And by the end of his life, he left it in the hands of his high-ranking high lieutenants, which I think the goal was to spread the brotherhood across the world. Uh, just like how uh, you have these different stories of, you know, of the founding and the video games that are out there, which kind of relate it to the subject. So uh, the Elder also is a representation of him, the founder of it, whose authority goes above all of the high, high uh, table lieutenants. And the elder is also a representation of uh, the, uh, the Roshaniya. And the Roshaniya is like the illuminated ones that come from the, from the mountains of the Ir Iran, Afghanistan area. So it, it kind of relates to that same subject where you have this old man of the mountain, Hassan ibn Sabah, was creating followers and then you have the Roshaniya which is a modern day uh, secret society in that area that uh, creates these things and it just shows you how the real power is actually in the East even even the one in the West have to kind of uh, how you say it? like give pay their homage to them as you saw with uh, with John Wake where he had to kneel before him and give a fealty of his oath so you have that and you also have many instances in American um, history where you have Madame Blavatsky from the uh, from her own uh, occult society who studied under Jamal El Afghani and Jamal El Afghani was uh, an Islamic Masonic reformer he was a scholar and she referred to him as Serapis Bey like one of the ascended masters or you know like a elder as you as you can say so she studied under him and she was able to learn many things under him and uh, when I think Jamal El Afghani came here to the uh, US uh, under one of his disciples Muhammad Abdu who was also a Masonic uh, Jewish scholar and Islamic reformer uh, they taught the um, parents of a uh, noble Drew Ali who's the founder of the Moorish Science Temple of America and who established the first Islamic uh, presence in America you could say in uh, 1916 so uh, Jamal El-Afghani taught their uh, parents he taught Madame Blavatsky she calls him Serapis Bey so you could see like these the old man of the mountain can manifest in anybody it's like basically uh, like a spirit like you know you can't contact it it contacts you so the old man of the mountain can manifest in anyone so to do his work as we can see you know it was Hassan ibn Sabah the founder John Wick shows you as the elder 
then you have these little d different reformers that uh, created their own thing and spread knowledge and had these other people answer to them so it, you know these movies kind of like give you hints about these uh, different underworlds and how they really work so I, I found that really interesting and um, uh, you know my, my big uh, respect to Keanu because he, he's, he's the one that can pull off roles like these and I look forward to the uh, fourth installment coming up so if you want to learn uh, learn more about these things look up the Roshania I think William Cooper even has like a podcast about that back from the 1990s you can look it up you can look up uh, Jamal El Afghani and uh, you can see like the things he taught Madame Blavatsky and uh, the parents of Noble Drew Ali and how like everything's all like interconnected and you can see how small this world really is and the old man of the mountain can manifest in anybody so it's a nice little popular culture thing so it's, it's good to see uh, Lionsgate and the uh, the makers of that John Wick franchise you know add that little twist in there that the guy running the show the whole time was uh, in in the um, in Morocco, in the desert, which is a tribute to the uh, the old man of uh, Persia, and also it solidifies that the relationship since you know John Wick uh, represents the continental, which is basically the U.S., and he goes to Morocco to pay homage to the elder and Morocco was the first nation to recognize the US as an independent country and you even have a letter of George Washington who wrote a letter to the Sultan of Morocco expressing his gratitude and you also have many other things where the constitution of this uh, country and the founders and many other things were influenced by the uh, Islamic code of how to set up a a foundation where everyone has the religious liberty and the pursuit of happiness and all of these records can be found in the Library of Congress and it just shows you and you know it's like a little Easter egg in the in that John Wick 3 uh, movie how uh, he regardless of uh, if the guys in the desert there was that strong foundation that's built so he goes there to pay his respect to him so we will see in, in the fourth one if he comes back as an antagonist or he has like a supporting role. So I'm, I'm excited for that. So please excuse my ramblings. Uh, I hope I made some sense. And, and I hope uh, you like my video. And I thank you for checking me out. If you have any suggestions on any future topics, just uh, let me know and I'll try my best to make these videos off script and from the heart. I right, thank you again. Take care.